Hi everyone, welcome back to DJR Unicast. Today I am doing a video on my M2 MacBook Air from 2022 and its speeds with a Wi-Fi 7 router. Now, this Mac, I just wanna show you, it is an M2 MacBook Air from 2022. This Mac only has Wi-Fi 6 capabilities. So really what this video is doing is showing how well an access point with the Wi-Fi 7 spec is performing with a Wi-Fi 6 device that has a very powerful antenna setup in this computer. So first, what I wanna do as a baseline is I want to try out a wired speed test. Currently, Wi-Fi is toggled off. I don't know if you can see that, there we go. We just have a wired internet connection and I'm just gonna show you what the wired speeds are here first. About 1900 down and about 2350 up. One millisecond ping, zero millisecond jitter and 0% loss. All right, let's try out using a combined 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz band, how well this M2 MacBook Air is able to perform with a Wi-Fi 7 access point. All right, we are turning on Wi-Fi and we are connected. And here we go, let's do the speed test. So again, this is using the 2.4 gigahertz and the five gigahertz bands. These speeds are not amazing. Now I have 80 megahertz of total bandwidth on the five gigahertz and I have the 2.4 gigahertz channel allotment maxed out. So as you can see, I'm getting about 600 megabits per second down and about almost 600 megabits per second up as well. So that's really where it seems to be peaking. Now there is a lot of co-channel interference in this apartment building. So that six gigahertz band is really useful in a scenario where there's a lot of co-channel interference in those major two bands. So unfortunately, this Mac cannot access that six gigahertz band either by a 6E spec or a seven spec. But as you can see, kind of just to give you an idea of where it's at without that six gigahertz band and with that slightly older Wi-Fi six spec, this is where we're at. Now, I don't use this MacBook Air with a Wi-Fi connection very often. I primarily use this Mac over a two and a half gigabit per second ethernet adapter because of its superior latency and speed. As you can see, this is what the speeds were on my M2 Mac. Now, this is not indicative of Wi-Fi 7. Like I've said many times before, this is a Wi-Fi 6 device. Now the Wi-Fi 7 speeds on my iPhone 16 Pro that I'm actually filming this video with, you can see in a video linked up here. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.